Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 17th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. Multiple events to see here plasma filament eruptions, solar flares, and as well, eight sunspot regions. Noticeable in the Southern Hemisphere, plasma filament eruption, coronal mass ejection shooting out from our Southern Hemisphere today. That was the last 48 hours incoming. Now looking at outgoing from the Southeast Limb. Boom, that was that X-class solar flare. And then multiple backside events the last few days. We've been showing the CMEs, but here having a look at the plasma shots that have been happening all week long. One there, plasma filament eruption there, X-class solar flare there, and then northwest region, M-class solar flare, and then in the southern hemisphere, Big plasma filament eruption, but it looks like it was on the back side of the sun. It did create a coronal mass ejection. But some very interesting and beautiful images here of our sun brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. And thank you all for watching, hitting play tonight, and being a part of this amazing channel and community. Having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out any major coronal holes, and there are none to talk about. Just amazing to see our sun's corona in action. Another light here, 193 angstroms. The past 48 hours, two days of imagery. Looking at eight, sorry, seven sunspot regions right now. Have a quick look here at another light. See these? Sunspot regions in motion. Those black holes in the sun, they're about five to ten times the size of Earth. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1. Minor radio blackout impacts expected. Solar winds are coming in at 336 kilometers per second right now. That is around average. Having a look at the solar X-ray flux, showing a small spike into the X range and as well M-class solar flare and about three C-class solar flares the past 24 hours. Geomagnetic activity bumped up a little bit there, but has been pretty quiet as of late. Having a look here at the Space Weather Prediction Center, showing their space weather spiral from the large CME brought to you by the X-class solar flare. It was not earth facing. It was in the outgoing position. And uh, as you can see here, the little green circle is earth. This event will be missing us, but could give us a little glancing blow of its wing 19th into the 20th. And then having a look here at ISWA space prediction spiral showing the backside CME in a southward fashion. Other than that, not too much to report here today, guys. Having a look at Alaska 2, showing the 48 hours of imagery here. Cosmic energy leaving our sun. That was a pretty intense eruption yesterday from the X-class solar flare. Super fast, accelerated wind speed of the plasma. Shooting out from the bottom right-hand region. And as well, just recently, the south and backside coronal mass ejection. Slow that down to get a quick look at the last few images brought to you by Soho. Have a quick look here at the Aurora forecast for the Northern Hemisphere, as this will be the most intense over the next 24 hours mostly over Alaska and BC and as well on the other side of the world. 
But anytime there is a major solar storm heading our way, you can always count on daily events worldwide to give you the Aurora forecast. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we have a little bit of a concerning situation here in Texas, Falls City, Texas, 4.7 magnitude earthquake and as well a 4.4 and multiple earthquakes through the region, high fracking region. As well, Mentone, Texas, 3.7. Quiet across the west in the Pacific Northwest. Minor activity building through Alaska, 4.2 Atka. 4.7s here, Russia and Japan. 4.7 range to 4.5, straight down the Philippines plate. And then our deepest earthquake the past 24 hours, 593 kilometer depth, 4.4 magnitude, VG. So, heads up, largest being the 5.2 Vanuatu from yesterday, 4.7 Myanmar. And as well, a 4.0 reported here in Italy. But other than that, not too much to report. USGS only reporting 230 earthquakes past 24 hours, slightly above average. Now let's have a glance at the last seven days for shakers around the world. And welcome all new followers, many new subscribers to this channel. Thank you all so much for choosing daily events worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared to daily events. Way too quiet through the African plate right now. Most of the activity from subduction zones in Japan and Fiji. But notable activity straight up the United States right now. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast brought to you by our 42 erupting and active volcanoes around the world. Pretty intense and nasty air quality moving straight across North America right now. And that is brought to you by most likely Secura Jima, which had a very large eruption a few nights ago. And as well, the multiple volcanoes at Kamchatka. But you can see pretty intense plume coming out of northern Siberia and as well Japan and Kamchatka. Overlooking a Europe. Lots of SO2 inundating the northern hemisphere right now and as well continual eruptions at Mount Etna in Italy and then a quick glance here at Africa, Australia and Indonesia, Micronesia showing SO2 emissions 42 active and erupting volcanoes around the world interesting days indeed now let's have a look at world weather here as we have a couple cyclones east of Madagascar heading down the South Indian Ocean set to give uh, southwestern region of Australia a grazing intense tropical system here through Northern Territory. We'll head back onto the Australian continent at the same time as intense system heads to New Zealand then overlooking the Pacific Ocean and North America, multiple low pressure systems in the Pacific right now and large ones at that. Very large winter storm moving through Alaska and a strong system here, 18th into the 19th, making landfall, California, Washington, and then heading northward. And then it will break up into many low pressure systems. And then watching the long range big system here heading south down the BC coastline. That's when things are really going to start to change. Overlooking Europe, you've still got some wild weather ahead of you. Multiple lows in the Atlantic right now getting ready to make landfall as they shift southward from, from Iceland. And they will be doing that by the 21st. Watch this big system develop. Lots of moisture and strong winds. So heads up, my European friends, right from Spain up into Norway. Wild weather and extreme weather is forecast for you. And as well, pretty intense low heading through the Mediterranean. 
leave you here looking at South America and Africa. Showing low pressure systems moving through daily evaporation rains continual throughout South America. Not many lows. There seems to be a lingering low there through Argentina and Chile. But heads up, everybody. Much love and thank you for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world. <laughs>